Happy Friday to you. I've got my tea, Merry Christmas, and I hope you're having a great day so far. Do you have your drink? Mm? Get your warm hug or your cold hug. <laughs> so what I did today was I already did my face. I also put on the Milani primer, eyeshadow primer, and I also did my eyebrows. So I got that taken care of. Now I'm going to go back to this e.l.f. Um, it is the Rose Gold Nude palette and I used it one other time with you guys but I haven't used it very much at all and I just wanted you to look at it it's very very pretty also I'm putting I had my I'm doing the videoing cinematic and we'll see if that's different not that anyone said that they couldn't see me or it was weird but I just wanted to try something different and um, since I just film and I don't edit I will just have to know when I'm done so I have that eyeshadow primer on the Milani. I'm going to use, this is exciting. I'm going to use some of this right here. This really pretty color. You know, I was telling you that the, um, that the Profusion cosmetics or the Profusion eyeshadows, they don't move well. The, the e.l.f. do, I think. So I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Okay, a little more. I can't, I want to say I can't see it, but I'm sure. Oh, I could see it a little bit. When I look in the camera, it's so, I'm so blind. No, not blind, but just, it's hard to see. So our grandson had his, I believe it's his last basketball game last night. So that's our grandson that just turned 13. We have a younger grandson who is 11, and he is starting his basketball. So that'll be fun. And we have a granddaughter who's 14. She does track, she runs track, she runs cross country. So that's not happening right now. They're gonna be practicing and stuff. So anyway, that's what's happening here. Um, remember I was saying, I think I was telling you guys, I wasn't sure if we were gonna get a tree. Well, we've had, We've had a fake tree for years. Um, I really like having a real tree, but the fake tree, of course, is great because the lights are already on it and everything. I mean, who can pass that up? And you don't have to water it. And I can burn a candle for the wonderful evergreen smell. <laughs> so we put it up last night and I'm like, it's so bad. It's so like... There's so much space. Even if you fluff it, you know, you're supposed to fluff the fake trees or you bring out all the branches and make it look real. Well, there's nothing that can help this tree. So we are going to get rid of it. We're going to get a new one, I hope. If we can find one kind of cheap because they're so expensive. Mm. My daughter, youngest daughter, uh, got one from Hobby Lobby last year or the year before and she spent like $200. It was on sale and um, it's beautiful. But we can't. I don't think we're going to do that. My husband wouldn't go for that. And that's fine. Ooh. Oh, that's just so pretty. All of this is just so pretty. So I'm going to take my, what I use as a crease brush. It's not a crease brush, I'm sure, professionally. And I'm going to get some of this right there. So anyway, I, but you know what? I will tell you. So I was telling you that we, this is the first year we have no kids living here, but they're going to come here. And I don't know, I just feel sad or something. And, um, but they're going to come here and I want them to have that feeling, you know, and I want to have that feeling too. I mean, I really like to cook and do different things. We actually, on Christmas day, we would always, when the kids were little, we would, um, we would uh, get up, like we would get together with extended family and stuff on Christmas Eve, maybe do dinner at someone's house, that kind of thing. But then Christmas Day, we really liked to just, um, it was complicated with the older children, but when the younger children were the only ones left in the house, this is what we would do. Because um, the, the, my older children are actually my stepdaughters, the older ones, so, so the grandchildren are Technically, I guess my step-grandchildren, but they're not to me. 
they are my grandchildren and they are my daughters. But anyway, so we shared them. So it was a little bit different with the older two and then we had two together. So the younger two, anyway, they, um, we used to have great Christmases with the older ones as well and all of us together. But, um, and so, so even when they, when they weren't little, I guess is what I'm trying to say. When, when the older two girls were not little, um, and they were teenagers and then we had two little ones here, this is when we would start doing this. And this is what I really liked, which was to literally just relax Christmas day. We, we opened presents Christmas morning. Um, we would relax and just have snacks and I would always make bacon bread and I still will and just make you know goodies and just have snacks and just relax and when the kids were younger they would play with their toys and there was no rush to go anywhere no one had to get dressed up that's just how we roll how about you guys let's see what do I what have I done so far I've been talking okay I did that all right so you know what I think I'm gonna do no I'm gonna use the strobe stick I did put a little on my nose because I completed my face but I'm going to put a little bit in, use it also for my eyes, a little bit in the corner there, and a little bit in the corner there. I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out. The whole time I'm videoing, there's like these parentheses around me that keep moving around. That's weird. Regular videoing isn't doing that. Hmm, I hope it turns out all right. All right, so, I'm just gonna put a little bit there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll kind of move my face around. Compared to that side, I don't have it. I literally, I've, I've only ever bought this one stick and it has barely any color, maybe like a champagne color sort of, but it's so barely there that I just like to have a little bit of a sheen look. And hopefully it looks good. And I don't know that I've actually checked I think I checked it out in the daylight. It's important, guys, to check your makeup in the daylight. And it's true. Sometimes I would go up to my car, like the, the the mirrors that stick out of the car, like before I get in the car, and I'll like look and see what I look like for real. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go a little bit dark hair. Let's try a little of that on the crease. Pretty colors. Might be a little too purple for today, but we shall see. Anyway, I think what I was was going to tell you guys was that I, just putting the, the fake tree up, like I said, we didn't decorate it, so it's gonna be easy to just put back in the box. I, I, and we plugged it in for a second. And I was just like, oh, I just love the Christmas lights and we need to do this. We do. We need to do it for us. Even if the kids didn't come over, I think we need to do it for us. We need to do it. I need to do it for me. You know? Remember, I was like 19 years old. It's so funny because whenever I'm in a video, I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. But somehow I think of stuff. <clears throat> kind of like you do with your girlfriends, you know? Your friends, you hang out. Um, I was like 19 years old and I had my own little apartment. It was like a studio apartment. And my parents, like I said, were divorced. And my dad was at, at the time, his wife's mother's house for Christmas. And my mom, I don't remember where she was at. She might have been with her husband at his family's house, which was in San Francisco, which was farther away. It was like an hour away from where I lived at the time. Merry Christmas. And... Um, I, I don't know, but I think I was an adult. I mean, I was 19 years old. That's really young, but I was an adult. And But I know my parents, they love me and they wouldn't want me to be alone. But I think my mom probably figured I was with my dad. My dad probably figured I was with my mom. I don't know where my sister was at the time or step siblings at the time, but I was alone on Christmas. And it was so sad for me. And something I've realized as I've grown older is that if you are feeling alone or you are alone is to um, go and volunteer somewhere. Volunteer of your time and you will not feel lonely and you will feel blessed. All right, so I could use this 
really pretty color. But instead, I mean, it is Friday. I'm gonna use this um, Brilliant Eyes, which I cannot find it anywhere anymore, Liquid Shadow from, I told you guys about it already, but it's from L'Oreal. And I've looked for it and I can't find it. It's probably just where I'm looking. So I just take it, I always put it on my finger. I don't usually apply it with the little applicator. And usually I have enough on there that I do both fingers, like so. And I'm just gonna bring it on. Can you see it? Let me come close for you. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, probably a little too fancy to go to the grocery store. Oh my goodness, look at that. <gasps> Beautiful. I think it's so pretty. Makes me wanna, I don't know. Makes me wanna have a dress in it or something. This is a little bit too fancy for today. Why did I do that? It's very fancy for today. I'm gonna tone it down. <laughs> look at it. Oh my gosh. It's very pretty. But it's not. <sighs> what I'm doing today so I don't really know why I did that except that I like it so much and it, I have another color of it too let me show you if I can find it because you know I can get a mess going here not really it's not messy so I have this color as well and I there these are probably a little bit dirty and when it's dirty it just means it has makeup on it Anybody who wears makeup knows what I'm talking about. So can you tell the difference in the colors? Those are the colors that I have. Maybe I didn't wait long enough, sorry. Aren't they pretty? Which one did I use? I think I use, I don't know which one I use. I don't even know. All right, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is tone it down. Like I said, it needs to be toned down. It's pretty, but I, I really don't wanna hang today like that so I'm gonna use this brush which is kind of dense it's a little bit angled that I always apply it on my um, lid my eyelids and I'm going to take this color right here this is the the elf matte the um, mad for matte nude mood and say goodbye to that beautifulness for now no, maybe if I go out or something tonight, which I probably am not, and I need to zhuzh up my daytime makeup, then I'll come back and zhuzh it with you. All right, so I'm gonna, it's gonna show through a little bit, take heart. But, so this is kind of nice because you can see what I do to change something if I don't want it to stay the way that it is, you know. I don't mind a little bit of the shimmer. Look at that, see? Can tell a difference. I might use a little more. Okay, see the difference. I think you can see why on a Friday afternoon why I wouldn't leave it like that. It is very pretty, but I should get more colors of that if I can find it. So I think that looks good. And what I'm gonna do, do I have my, well, I'm gonna use my much too fluffy, fluffy brush and kind of just work it a little bit. So like I said, my husband's birthday is coming up. It's Monday. We're actually gonna have a little cake for him on Sunday and I wanna do something for him Oh yeah, this is better. I want to do something for him. You know, Monday, he's got the day off, so. Do you guys have any ideas? <laughs> or not to do, but as a gift, something super simple. It doesn't need to be. I guess I could just like get him a shirt or something. I don't know. I know you don't know him, so you wouldn't know what to get him, but. You like it just like that or should we do a little more 
Hmm. I think it looks fine. I'm not going to go too dark in the, sometimes I go really dark in the, in the crease, crease, in the, in the crease. So now I'm going to use my little wet and wild stick. That's really, I'm starting to use it all. These things, I mean, they look like this, but there's nothing there, but just from here up. It's kind of irritating. It's a little irritating to me. So here we go. We get a little of this. And I want to kind of, I like more of a angle here. Not super angled, but do this. So I think it was last Friday. I said, is this Friday your Friday or is it your Monday? And I do kind of go a little further forward sometimes, but see how thin I made it? I don't know if you can see that. It's thicker and then it goes thinner. And like I've said before, I'm not professional. There are professionals on YouTube. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna work out, I guess. So, so we're gonna go and look maybe at, um, a friend of mine got her fake tree that she really likes at Target, but we don't have Target in my town, but we can go there. It's just a little bit of a drive. And then, um, or I think Walmart has some and also Home Depot maybe. So I'm hoping that my husband will go with me and we can find a pretty good a pretty good one for not too much money. My friends that she got was um, $80 she said. And it's kind of one of those skinny ones which would be cute. Our house is not very big so. Mm. Merry Christmas, you guys. All right, so I don't want it like that. You know me. I mean, see how it looks kind of rough? I'm going to do something else. I like to put something else. Let me see what I want to do. Do I want to do green? Let's do a little green. And the green that I have is the Profusion. I did do green the other day, though, didn't I? I don't know if I'd like it. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do green. Just a little. Just a little bit. But let's do this green. So last time, you can see I used this and this. Now let's try that. Can you see it? And I have green eyes, and I know that green on green eyes isn't necessarily going to make them look greener but it does, it's all right. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of go over. Can you see what I have? I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. I'm kind of moving it. I'm not just tapping. I'm kind of moving and tapping because I want it to look not so, it like, I want to say perfect. I don't want it to look so perfect, but it's not gonna look perfect obviously, but. You know, I like it to look a little more smoked out. So I'm going to have to do something. About it. It's not looking like that enough for me. Mm. So some places that people volunteer, which we've done in the past, is, of course, churches. Sometimes they do stuff like that if you contact them. Or, you know, any food banks, that kind of thing in your town. Or missions. Gospel rescue missions. And I think it would be good to do as a family, to be very honest. What? Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel so bad. I could cry right now. But it just reminded me of what I did with my kids when they were little. The two littlest ones. We made huge stocking, two huge, no, three huge stockings and filled. I mean, it was a nice thing. We did. We we're trying to do the right thing. 
but I'm gonna add a little bit while we're talking. I'll add a little bit more in the crease. And what we did was we filled these stockings and we contacted a, um, a, like a, people would call it, oh, a nursing home, basically, a nursing home, and asked if there's anyone there that does not get visitors from family. This was just something I thought of, and they said, oh, yes, there is, and we had the name of a woman and two men, so we made stockings for all of them. I'm going to go to my mats, my elf mats, and get a little bit in there. We made a stocking for all of them. I'm going to use like a brown color. And took them there. And I was thinking that we were going to be their family. You know, that we would start getting to know them and hanging out wherever these people are. They were all, both the men, they seemed happy that we were there. Um, but they were a little taken back. I mean, uh, understandably. But they were very grateful and it was very nice and it felt really good to do that and to be there for them. The lady was older. She was like in her 90s and she was in a wheelchair and she doesn't talk or anything. And she had just, one of the gals that worked there had just painted the woman's nails like this ugliest green color. For nails, it was ugly. It was worse than than this. And maybe it was supposed to be for Christmas. It was like uglier. I mean, not that that's a pretty green, but for nails, you know, it was, it was, it looked like a witch or something. And she was just sitting there and we're like, Hey, here's this thing for you. And it, we scared her. I felt so bad. Um, so as much as we had a good heart for it, it didn't turn out exactly as I had hoped. And we did not go back. And I felt guilty for years and years and years. And you know, they might have not even thought of us, which I hope that is what happened. And then the lady, I thought, maybe she needed us and something bad was happening to her there and we, I should have paid more attention, you know. Maybe she was, I don't know if she was being abused or something, but why would they paint her nails that color? I don't know. Maybe it's just for Christmas, I guess. So it's always bothered me. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. Go out and volunteer. It's amazing and you will not feel lonely. And it can be children that you're around even, if that's who you wanna be around. I don't know. Also going to church is a good idea. I hope that we do that this year. So I don't necessarily like what's happening here. I'm just gonna rub it out a little bit. So it's a little bit softer. You know, I guess it's kind of smoking it out a little tiny bit, huh? Sort of. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> I think you can tell the difference. Anyway, I think I think ultimately, I mean, we gave them really nice stockings and stuff, and hopefully, they felt cared about. I really hope they did. We just didn't. We weren't able in us to go back. And I've always felt guilty. There's lots of stuff like that I feel guilty about. And it's usually in trying, you know, to help. I'll have to save some stories for another time. I could tell you all right now. It's literally in trying to help people. But you have to remember, sometimes you've got to follow through, you know. And, and like I said, they probably didn't even expect us to come back. But I told them that we would, and we didn't. And I had good intentions, but life got in the way, and I was a mom of young children, and it did not happen. So I did get some fallout, and this is already 20-something minutes long. I guess that's not so bad. It's probably not so bad because I would already had my face done. Yeah. So, hmm, I don't really like how that looks either. Looks messy or something. What to do? What to do? So, any good movies you guys have seen? I've heard that 
I don't really think it would be for kids, in my opinion, but I heard that Violent Santa is good. I think that kids shouldn't go to that, in my opinion. <laughs> it's just me. I think they need to have some... If they're going to believe in Santa, they need to believe that he's everything that is good. And I don't know what the movie is, so I shouldn't say. But let's see if there's other movies out there. Mm. Something The Bells. Oh, and then what about Spirited? That's another movie. Um, we like to go to movies sometime, sometimes in on Christmas Day. I think this might look okay once I have uh, mascara on. Hmm. So do you want to see what it looks like? So I had used that stuff and it was very beautiful and too much for a Friday in the middle of the day. And now that's what I turned it into. So you can still see the pinkiness of it. I'm going to, because I did have fallout. <clears throat> Normally I put a little moisturizer on. And then I get the fallout off. But I don't have any moisturizer in here. I'll have to make sure that I put some in here. But I am going to use a little bit, bit of my 120 Fit Me Dewy. Ooh, it's coming out all over the place. Let's see. I'm just going to put a little. That's what I do. I've yet to do this with you. This is my first time. This is what I do. I think it's my first time. Hopefully my hands aren't. I remembered tissues. Hopefully I'll remember everything I need next time. Some moisturizer. So I'm just going to pat some of this underneath. And I'm kind of red right here. I have a couple little something or others. And I just like to put some fresh. Because when I wiped off the fallout, I also wiped off any. And like I said, I right now in my life, I'm not using concealer. I don't really know how to use concealer. I'll try it maybe sometime with you guys. I mean, I've tried it. I bought the wrong color. I'll show you what I bought. So that doesn't really count, you know, when you buy the wrong color. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have it in this room. Because it's not something that I use all the time. I only have the stuff that I use all the time. Which makes sense. So, I'm going to use my Sky High. You know what's funny? Is that I had never heard of this before. And I told you it's probably a flash in the pan. Uh, type um, mascara that they're going to bring it out and they're going to take it away. And I had never heard of it. And then there's a commercial. I saw a commercial for it. And there's a black one too. There's this one that's kind of a rose gold. And then there's a black one also. What do you know? Maybe I'll stick around. They even have a commercial for it. So I'm just doing this. Putting a little mascara on. So, um, it's always fun to go to the movies. We have a movie theater here in our town that is fine, but I just got some underneath there. I'll have to get it later. But in the same town that we have Target, we have one of those movie theaters that they have the, the pleather seats that lay back and heat up and there's so much room for your, your legs. If someone walks by. Um, they, they even serve alcohol there. They even, I think, bring your food to you if you want. We always just get popcorn and soda. I love popcorn at the movies. Love it. And I get the butter layered. Because why not? If you're going to enjoy it, you know. So I have nothing under my eyes. Maybe I should put something under there. I think I'll just go with it like it is. I actually forgot. <laughs> and now, I, I was going to. But sometimes it's nice not to. And I have the eyeliner up top. So, <clears throat> so anyway, this is just another look. Hope you guys have a great Friday. And great evening when that rolls around. All right, guys. I hope that you... Get all your fallout off your cheeks and all your mascara off your cheeks. 
Drink all your coffee or tea before you put your lipstick on. <clears throat> Good. All right. A little lip butter, which is super simple. I'm not going to do any, any liner or any of that jazz. This is my Friday daytime look. It was really nice talking with you guys again. Seeing you. Thank you so much for being here. I, uh, I have not done anything with my hair. I have not put any curls in it. Um, or anything. I'm thinking about letting my bangs grow out a little bit. Or a lot. Um, so my hair... Like I said, I have curly wavy hair naturally, and I and I use that big curling iron on it, the two incher, to like kind of smooth it and give it some curl, a little bit of curl. But this is just you know before that. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I, I really enjoyed spending time with you, and I hope you take good good care of yourself today and do all the things you know you should do, and um, I will as well. And I will see you soon, either later today or tomorrow. But I will be thinking about you. All right, you take care, and I'll see you soon. I'll be back. All right.